Hello and welcome to uh, Let's Try. We're trying The Wandering Village. I'd uh, really like to thank Stray Fawn Studio for providing me with a key. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway next Tuesday if you're interested in uh, getting a key for this game. Definitely drop by during the middle segment um, of a stream. I'll be, I'll be giving away a couple of keys. But uh, with all of that out of the way, um, thank you very much for joining me. I've been really looking forward to this game, and it's a really cool one. Um, if you're familiar with much of the Rim likes or the Dwarf Fortress likes or much of the Colony Sims, this game will probably be on your radar. If you're not already interested, I think you probably will be. It's, it's a pretty cool one. I'm going to go with Adapt. Adept. And I do vaguely know how to play. I did play Driven the demo on my stream. The Wandering Village. It's a colony sim on the back of a giant beast, uh, which has a name, and the name uh, it uh, escapes me right now, but I'm sure we'll be reminded very, very soon. Um, so we have our, our little fellows here. We're going to build build them a house or two. Let's do that. We could build some tents. They hold up to two villagers. Worker post. We're gonna need all of these things as well as some roads and stuff. Oh, the onboo, right? The onboo. Uh, we are on the onboo. So I, you know, village started. Not, not really, but uh, we're, we're we're moving ahead here. So uh, we're gonna basically be harvesting a, a bunch of the resources on the back here, and eventually we're gonna want to replant and, and regrow some of the stuff. For now, we're taking advantage of many of the free resources. We do have a bit of stored up food and in fact we're storing up some more food right now which is quite nice. There's, I know um, down the line there's um, basically there's options for for uh, preservation of uh, foods and stuff. Also gonna skip ahead, uh, sorry not skip ahead but like fast forward a bit. Choose your next research. The horn blower is gonna be used to uh, issue commands to the Anbu. Right now they're sleeping so maybe not as much of a problem. We might want to uh, prioritize this because uh, you'll see that um, there can be hazards and stuff to uh, avoid. And, uh, you know, the Anbu, like, if we look at the map here, let me see. Where is the map? Where, where are you? There you are. So um, this pink stuff over here, this swampy stuff, can be kind of bad and even... Um, do some harm to the Anbu and the, the Anbu's like our our health is kind of tied to the Anbu's health if the Anbu is not doing okay then we're not doing okay so we want to maybe guide them away from some of the uh, some of the bad some of the the not good you know so uh, we could work on plants and harvest mushrooms as ingredients for Anbu food we probably want to do this Anbu grumbles unhappily as it feels its spike being torn out. I guess these are Anbu spikes that I should not be mining. Ooh, yeah, well, we'll, we'll keep, you know, we're, we're gonna keep it to that anyway. Um, we have some research being done, and I think we can, I think we have uh, someone dedicated to this, that's important. We also have workers dedicated to the worker post, that's gonna guarantee that we have people transporting, harvesting, building, we can uh, we can dedicate a few more people to that. That's fine. We can see how far our research is doing. For, we have um, nine idle. This is the kind of game I, I often find myself pausing with the space key. That's the kind of game you're you're kind of um, looking at, and uh, it's you know it's it's helpful to to kind of like reset the RAM in your brain. At least that is the case for me. Um, I'm gonna build some things like a carpenter workshop and a stone cutter workshop and then we're gonna go ahead and build some roads I like uh, I really like to get into like road and travel maintenance it's I don't know it's just a little thing that I appreciate about these kind of games um, you know it, it, it makes you feel like the people here actually live here and not just like aren't just you know um, assets if that makes sense um, what are we going to work on next? Probably we want to work on storage, material storage. We can do that. And, uh, you know, like there's probably a really optimal way to set some of this stuff up. But I'm, I'm going to be very lackadaisical about this. We'll set up our pantry. Maybe we want to set up our pantry like somewhere that makes sense. And then we'll put the water over here. Oh, I guess, I guess these are going to block the road, aren't they? Okay, cancel that. Cancel that. All right. So what we'll do is we'll set it up here. 
And so those will, those will be the pantries, and then this will be the water. And I think the water is basically the same size as the pantry. And the, I'm pretty sure the, the, the villagers will be happy, you know, smart enough to remove, um, you know, some of the stuff in the way. We'll build another couple of tents as well. We want to be able to store water, water and we want to be able to store food so that we, you know, have m many in abundance. I'm also going to go ahead and set these stones to harvest because they're going to be eventually in the way. And I'm going to fast forward a little bit, um, just a little bit, so that, uh, you know, we can we can get our research, uh, research our next thing. I'll also fast forward. I'm pretty sure, can I go, yeah, I can go times four. You can actually use the number keys to do that. So let me fast forward just a little bit. All right. So Ambu has uh, decided to get up and start moving. We don't yet have the ability to command them. And in fact, I looked at the research tree and uh, we're not going to have that ability for a while. Even when we have the horn blower, we're going to have to research commands like, oh, you can go to sleep now. You can eat. Um, things like that. So it's going to be a while before we have like control over Anbu. That means we're going to have to weather some of the um, environmental and possibly weather hazards that come about from him just kind of wandering around, uh, and hence the name. Um, but in the meantime, we have um, some pantry set up where we can store some food and water tanks. Probably the next thing we want to set up is an air well. This, I believe it's, I don't know if the name is indicative of its function so much. Um, I think it actually collects water, extracts water from the air, works better at higher humidity levels. No water is produced in deserts. Makes sense. Um, we have no wood right now, so I'm gonna wanna do some more collecting. And I mean, like, we're, like I say, pretty much uh, exploiting the landscape for all of its free resources for now. And eventually we'll have to worry uh, a bit more about our ability to, to you know, <laughs> re replant and uh, maintain our resource amount. Let me see. Let me, let's we're gonna build some more roads. I just like building roads. Eventually, we'll deal with this stump. It's kind of in the way, but that's fine. Maybe I could have built my village a bit smarter. Um, I think we're gonna want a couple of these air farms because um, we you know we want to stay on top of water plants and harvest various crops plots must be placed on grass soil so we're probably going to want to place this you know in a in a convenience convenience place like here maybe uh, we'll get rid of this tree and um, we'll also want to set up a berry gatherer probably I should not have um, to, like picked up all of the berries We'll do a berry gatherer like over here. And I'm gonna continue to try and like plan our roads. I like to grow our you know villages semi organically. Um, you know, just see see what I how I feel and and grow things like well. You encounter a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join your village? Well, where is that? Uh, I guess it's on the the map. Um, did they already come and go? Hmm, I feel like I missed my chance there. All right. Well, that's a shame. There is a way to uh, kind of like tell explorers to, to go and explore the landscape. We don't have that ability yet, I think, but we will soon. Berries and beets and Anbu blood into processing food. Oh, that sounds kind of weird. Why are we, we're har harvesting blood? Learn how to grow cacti at your farm. Cacti are, are alternative water sources in hot climates. I don't know if we need that just yet, but um, we'll do that. So we're gonna do that, and then eventually we'll do like doctor and deca decontaminator. All right. We're paused for the moment. Um, I want to work on the next thing. I think our material storage is okay. Is it like? It doesn't actually store all that much, but not that it matters all that much. Um, I do want to plant, start, uh, planting plots of, for farming. Uh, also, does our, our woodcutter, they, okay, we have, we have people dedicated to this. That's good. Um, we probably only need one people each, because we, I don't know if we even need those resources just yet. So we're gonna, let's place down our horn blower. It'll actually tell you kind of where it needs to be. 
um, which I think is fun. Some of these uh, buildings are location specific. Uh, and in this case, I mean, it makes sense because you want the you want Ambu to be able to hear it, right? So we're going to go ahead and put that down there. And I'll go ahead and uh, put some roads to it. Uh, those trees are already set to be cut down, so we don't have to worry about that too much. I am a little bit... Well, I guess we don't have our farm built yet. I think once we have the farm set up, we can designate a plot for it. Is this the farm? That is the farm. Okay. Um, I should. I probably would like to cancel these roads and then have another one. It's fine. Well, we'll, we'll get there. Um, I, mean, I am like slowly working through quite a lot of our resources. I'm going to do another cut here to see until maybe something interesting happens or um, I've uh, done a bit more progress on this village. Okay, all right, we have our farm and we can in fact add a plot. Um, so let's go ahead and do that and I'm going to do a plot like, oh, I guess you can, it has to be around the farm. So I did in fact kind of um, not do a good job with this road. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that road and I'm going to do a plot as big as I can about this big. That sound, that looks good. I, I actually don't hate that in terms of, um, you know, design. I'm not I'm not a great designer when it comes to uh, cities, but uh, you know I, I I'll, I'll I'll get better maybe. I wouldn't mind doing like m almost making a series out of this. It'd be pretty fun. Maybe we don't need roads around um, you know certain buildings. So okay, the berry gatherer uh, they from nearby berry bushes without damaging. The more berry bushes surrounding the building, the more efficient it is. Well, that's kind of a problem because there are not a lot of berry bushes around there. And in fact, I've set these to, I wonder if I can cancel the decommissioning of some of these berry bushes. Harvest. Well, okay, say, I, I don't know if harvest means like destroy. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't. And I mean, this they are collecting some berries here, so it's not too bad. What I think I might want to do actually is set up another berry gatherer over here, which would be a bit better. Or actually here is like really good. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, let's set that up there. And I'm also gonna like split a road off like this. We'll connect them. I do, um, I did, I, I kind of mentioned this or touched upon this when I played this as a demo, but I was a little bit disappointed at um, how rigid the road placement is. You really can't, um, you know, the fact that it is so square like this is a little bit, I don't know, um, irksome to me. Cause you'd think that, you know, the village, you could, you could do these kind of winding roads and oops, I didn't I didn't make it in time for that that road there. So we're gonna have to destroy that. Sorry, I'm a little bit uh, anal retentive when it comes to um, this this city construction, and it's it, it might hurt me in the in the long run. Um, I wonder can we set out um, send out uh, villagers yet? I want to try no party available. I'd have to assign a party, and I'm not sure how to do that just yet. It might be that we can't do that until I've constructed the proper buildings for doing so. Oh, here's the uh, remove harvest task. Okay, so that, that would make things easier. Um, I think this is doing all right. It probably, yeah, efficiency 4%. I'm actually gonna, as soon as this one is built, and it is, I'm just gonna destroy that. They should um, pull the berries out of that. There's a much better crop over here. So we can actually assign more people to this and hopefully that will uh, do a bit more for our food input. What I might do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy this tree and I might build another berry gatherer over here. I'm not sure if you can have like two for the same, you know, set of berries, but it seems to me it would be a good idea to do something like that. Almost, yeah, we could do uh, efficiency 36. That's pretty good. I wonder if we can do better. Um, 36 seems to be pretty much the most we can do over here. Um, the farm is doing all right. Awaiting your decision, click to decide. You encounter a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join you? Pick them up? Sure. 
let's uh, pick them up. We've got three more people, which means we're probably going to need some more tents. These tents will house um, up to two villagers. Uh, how, we, so far we have 19. So we have, uh, I'm good at math, right? Six times two is 12. That's not enough. We're going to need at least, um, how many more? <laughs> How many more? Let me, let me just completely reveal how bad at math I am. I guess in 20 we would need 10 in total, won't we? So let's do four more of these. Four more. And I guess I'm, I'm rebuilding that road. That's fine. We'll, we'll build our road here. And uh, we've got plenty of building space to, uh, you know, store resources. We'll, we'll destroy that so that we can build some more of these things. Like I say, I'm a, I'm a little bit... A little bit finicky about my building. Place contains some fresh food for Anbu. Nice. So Anbu is stopping and he's uh, eating some mushrooms. Crunching on some mosh. Village doctor, we could do work on cactus plantation. This will probably be very good future proofing in case we run into a desert. The, th the problem with the desert is that we're, our moisture or our condensation is kind of gonna, is that right? Condensation? Humidity is gonna go down and then our air uh things air wells are not going to work as well so um let's we'll do the village doctor but i think the next thing i should work on is cactus plantation for now um the cactus uh, the, the sorry the farm is just doing beets i'm not sure why they i didn't fill in that little space there there we go that that looks better everyone seems to be happy um let's see janie we can look at their happiness and see maybe what uh what they follow worker i'm not rename i want to i want to see what they need housing quality is one to one i think probably the next step is is better housing quality um not enough resources available what do we need oh we're, we're out of wood okay let's um we're gonna, i'm gonna specifically set trees because i don't want to accidentally harvest these berry bushes and we're gonna we're gonna harvest those trees for a bit more wood um, same for over here. Let's do trees. Harvest stone. Uh, I do want to, like, we want to, I, I want to get rid of these guys, but I think that we need better tools in order to do so. So we have more tents. We might as well put one more tent because we're going to get more villagers. In fact, we can put another one over here just to be symmetrical. What is this? Fresh air. Fresh air free from any toxins. This is good. We can see we are kind of moving through a, uh, the pink area here. I don't know if that's necessarily bad. Short cold snap. Okay, well that that could be a little bit of a problem, but not too, not too bad. Things are going to be pretty easy to start with. We're not going to run into any like major major problems until much later. I'm actually uh, what I'll do is I'll connect that road up, and then we're going to decommission these roads. And you'll see, like, villagers will follow the roads, but they also kind of have um, natural desire lines uh, where that they follow, where they're, they'll, they'll just kind of, like, you know, cut corners a bit to save a bit of time. And uh, I like that. It, they, I think they were a lot less, um, I don't know, rigid in their, their AI kind of uh, pathfinding. When I played the demo, they would they would barely kind of follow the roads and just kind of do their own thing. I do like that they follow the roads. I just kind of wish you could be a bit more natural with the, that road placement. It it make this village feel less like a grid. I know it is a grid, but that doesn't mean it needs to feel like a grid, you know. Um, so this berry thing is is working out well. We could do another farm over here. We have zero people idle right now, and that's actually, like, what you want to see. You you pretty much want to see it. Um, Anbu makes mushrooms into Anbu food. We should probably do another farm specifically for mushrooms. Plants and harvest mushrooms as ingredients. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We're going to have another farm. Unfortunately, this means that well, we don't, we don't have any stone. That's that's what we're missing right now So let's go ahead and harvest some stone. We're gonna harvest all this stone. We have wood We're gonna need stone in order to uh, Build these structures over here. And here's here's the cold snap. You can see it's snowing that's gonna probably 
uh, degrade someone's health a little bit. Shouldn't be too bad, though. General workers, builders, carriers. We could probably have, like, th one of each for these uh, worker posts for each focus. And then, like, this is when we have enough, enough villagers to kind of, like, encourage, uh, like, separating, dividing tasks. You know, divide and conquer, you, you will, uh, you know, better delegate tasks so that we can, we can, uh, we have more people working on specific things. I don't know if there's necessarily a benefit to that, except that having, like, generally in these kind of games, like, having a specific worker for each task means that they're not going to get distracted. Like, if someone asks, like, oh, you're, you're carrying that thing, could you also, like, mine that rock? And then they're like, okay, well, maybe. All right, so this farm is built, so what we want to do is plant mushrooms. Right. Plant mushroom. Um... Are these, these guys are doing beets? So these guys are doing mushrooms. Oh, this is a mycologist, right, that makes sense. So let's go ahead and set up a nice farm like that. Ooh, okay, so I have, uh, I've misplaced this, this thing. I act, unfortunately am going to have to destroy it because it can't be placed on grass. It has to be placed on dirt. Hence, uh, we, we kind of circle back to uh, some, you know, specific buildings need to be on uh, th their location specific is really all I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and place that there instead. And we'll we'll do a big patch of mushrooms there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a dirt road leading up to it. Actually, let's, let's do it there so we can kind of make more space there. Might need another material storage. I don't know if you can upgrade them later. Bit of a bummer, you know, there's a little bit, you know, some, uh, it's a bit of a learning ex curve, you know, I, I'd say a, a bit of one, like it's, it really is a minor learning curve. This game is way more approachable and accessible, I'd say, than a lot of the colony sims, certainly more than Rimworld and certainly more than Dwarf Fortress. And don't even get me started on oxygen not included. Um, you have to basically have some kind of PhD to play that game. Um, so things are, are looking okay. Everyone's happy for now. We could, we should, uh, let's do the Anbu feeding trebuchet. I know I keep like ignoring the, uh, the very obvious and important cactus one, but uh, you know. So what, what kind of interactions do we have? Lie down, fast. We could tell it to run. I wonder like maybe if we're in, in a situation where we're, this look like a desert, that's not good. If we tell the, them to run, then doesn't that... Are they going to get more tired when they go through this desert? Uh, Anbu sleeping spot. Hmm. Scavenge your hut to be able to send expedition parties to this location. I wonder where the scavenger hut is. Oh, we actually already built one. So let's go ahead and actually build... Well, we didn't, we didn't build one. We researched it. Um... We are going to want the village doctor, and we're also going to want the herbalist. Where does this need to be? Grass soil? Let's put that where we had our mushroom hut. Is this built yet? No. What are we needing? Stone. Stone again. I thought we had stone. Did the stone get wasted when I um, kind of ripped up that building? I hope not. Uh, let's... Well, we'll get some more stone. And I'm gonna do another edit here. Oh, there's a bunch of stone over here. Okay, let's, let's. So we've entered. We have indeed entered a desert, and we are in. Our humidity is is low, and it's also quite hot. So I'm not sure how this is gonna affect our crops, but probably not great. Um, and it also means we're going to collect less water. That being said, we have plenty of water stored up, so we should be okay. Um. I'm a little bit concerned about our food situation. We are lacking quite a bit of food. Uh, I think we're gonna need another berry uh, place. <laughs> we're gonna need another berry store. What are these called? Berry gatherer, oh my God. Yo, I can words the best of them, you know? Um, I think maybe I have like taxed out the number of villagers we have. No, they're, they're collecting the stone. They're just, uh, they're, they're a little bit slow about it because it's all the way down there. We should be able to stay ahead of this food situation. Um, as soon as the stone is done, 
uh, we'll we'll start working on the mushroom farm for the ambu. And you can see the uh, the air wells. It's all the way in arid, so they're collecting water at a much slower rate, um, which is actually bad for crops because we use the water for the crops, of course, in, in addition to actually drinking it. Um, I didn't know you could like zoom in this close. This is quite nice. I love the I love the look and the style of this game. It's it really is quite nice. I, I do appreciate the use of like sprites on a, like a 3D world. The the kind of um, contrast of like this giant lumbering 3D onbu versus the little sprites and stuff on the back is quite nice. I kind of hope that um, I don't know like how futuristic or how progressive the the technology and and people get, but it would be kind of neat that like eventually you get like this sprawling city. Um, on the on the back, Anbu doctor. This uh, sends out workers to cure Anbu of poison. Well, that's kind of nice. I think we we can actually look at cactus plantation now. Uh, we probably, if I had had that set up ahead of time, then we would have been fine in this desert. But so you know, we're we're we can maybe let's we could head north. What is this? Short cold snap. Uh, there's not really any good. Uh, move here but we will we'll maybe tell the ambu that we would like to go north so we've got a full farm this is very good i don't know like it takes a little, a little while to actually collect on that um a little bit i am a little bit concerned we're not gonna have enough storage space once this farm is actually harvested but and it's too soon to really say on that one this is finally built so what we'll do is we'll add a plot and we're just gonna I don't know if there's like if if there is such a thing as too big of a farm plot here, but certainly we're not going to have enough people to really deal with this. I think we're just the one right now because like everyone else is running around like mad fleas. We have the Ambu feeding tri trebuchet. This will probably matter more in the future than it does now, because uh, I think you're only going to want to feed the Ambu when there's a lack of food. Uh. Right now their hunger is at 36%. I think that that's fine. I think low hunger is actually good. We all are also going to need a um, Anbu kitchen. We have a lot of things to construct, unfortunately. And we don't really have enough villagers to support all of this stuff. Learn how to grow corn at your farm. Corn is very heat resistant and requires little water, but grows slowly. Mm. I don't know if I want to deal with that yet. How, how are these doing? I do have to kind of consider our resource situation right now because, uh, you know, I have, I've burned through quite a lot of our resources. And I don't, oh, we don't want to, we don't want to upset the, the berries here. We don't want to upset the berries. Wouldn't want to upset the berries though. I am kind of staying ahead of the food situation. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So I don't think I made a kitchen, but again, I don't know if I can really just, like I don't have enough people to justify all of this i need more people to to help manage all of this there's two people working the mycologist field we don't need that we need one person point i'd like to be able to see like a detailed list of villagers and um like a very like good transparency on like information like where what are they doing where are they assigned and uh, have a have a like nicer maybe interface for how I assign villagers. This is a kind of a staple necessary UI thing that a lot of colony sims have and re really need. Like you do need the ability to do to do that um, because when it comes to this like organizing your people into different categories is pretty important. I guess what's happening is I have places or locations that have assigned people but the people don't exist right um so what happens is i take someone off of one thing like for instance like i assigned an extra person on boot kitchen by accident and as soon as i took someone off of something else they get automatically assigned so there is an option it's just not as well known you you can accidentally assign too many people to a job even if they don't exist they're still assigned and as soon as those people are available, they will get automatically assigned. That can be a little bit confusing, but now that I know that, it's it would be easier to kind of figure that out. We are at 30%. Okay, so we are officially cooking. Oh, whoa. Okay, yeah. Um, pick them up for sure. We need more people. 
Nice. Three more people. Your villagers' needs have increased. Check them in the top bar. I'm just like, I really, I almost like want to end this with um, flinging some food into the into the Omnu uh, Onbu. Onbu. Oh, we can do it now. All right, let's do it. Let's see it. They're getting into the trebuchet. Yo, there you go. That that uh, yeah, that did a lot towards uh, Anbu's hunger. Amazing, fantastic. Uh, like we got to we got to see something pretty cool there. So um, that that is going to increase their trust in us. All right, uh, we're, we've almost got huts figured out. Kind of want to do another berry gatherer because there's a nice, a pretty good berry situation like here. Forty percent isn't bad. Oh, 60. 60 percent. Oh, that's great. Let's let's do that. We we're gonna need some more uh, rocks for that. So let's go ahead and, and grab some more rocks down here. We don't need that many. We'd better to, you know, do a little bit because you know. If you if you assign too much people, the people are gonna like run over and 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 we're gonna dedicate everyone to this one job. Oh, look at our water situation. Not good. Like for sure, the dung collector is important, but is it as is it as important as like say um, another worker post? Maybe. Could be. We don't have anyone able to dedicate to the farm though we are freezing right now i wonder if there's anything i think the best thing would be to make more beets unfortunately i wonder i wonder if oh okay so we are we do have enough berries to do that i wonder if i should have another kitchen see this is the problem right i should have another kitchen so that we're producing um a second food type and i'm assuming the food like cooking food is going to um serve better um our, our like our hunger than than to just like eat it raw that's generally the case right so we do need someone to man that um i think it's time to decrease our berry gatherers uh, i need someone to 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 you know collect dung so they're gonna do that um we are gonna compost that we are working on the research for that um i am i do need someone to man this farm we have that set up now mm -hmm. place that holds an ancient artifact containing forgotten knowledge all right let's send an expedition there sounds good um let's also we'll feed on boo again just to just to you know increase their trust in us Actually, we could probably have like one person dedicated to building and then we'll have um, maybe one more set to harvesting. We have one idle, but that's just because we're not building anything right now, which is fine. That's kind of the way you want that. You want someone to be ready at a moment's notice. And you know what? Let's let's build another kitchen. So now you can see they're no longer idle. And that's kind of the way you want things to work. So we're just gonna kind of hold out. Do we have a, any food? We do have food. This is Anbu laxative, making it defecate more often at the expense of energy. Come on, Anbu, south. You can do this. Forest full of infested plants. We have no idea what we might find there. It could be diseased. Like we could be not, could be not good for us, but you know, maybe we get some food. I don't know. They brought back 12 wood and but got two got poisoned. Well, that's not good. But poison is better than diseased, right? All right. Well, um, you know, I wouldn't say that this currently is going well. Um, but it's it's not going awful and I mean, you can see you can see how decisions uh, are going to greatly affect your progress and and you're gonna have to make some tough choices for your villagers um regarding food and resources materials all that stuff we're at day 46 i think i did all right but i'm probably gonna die so i guess i'm not the best judge um in any case this has been the wandering village and i think this is a great game i'm looking forward to playing more of this and i will be playing more of this uh next tuesday and giving away a couple of keys so if you want to 
join me um, f during stream to get a copy of The Wandering Village. That would be just great. And uh, thanks again to uh, Stray Fawn Studio for, for the extra keys, as well as um, giving me an opportunity to play and uh, try this out. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Let's <laughs> go.